What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Jim Leader Geo, and this is our blind Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. We are on episode six. Uh, we just finished. Oh, which? What route is this? Uh, we just finished. Does it not say? Uh, I don't know. Whatever, route, whatever the route is, right after Howley City. Uh, we checked out the cemetery. Uh, we're next to Howe here. He's going to treat himself uh, to a cafe. We're just checking out what's going on in here. Uh, maybe a quest here. He's here with, his dar or with her darling hubby. She's looking for berries. And they saw a Pokemon called Crab Brawler. And he re she really wants one. If I know what kind of Pokemon it is, I can probably go catch one myself. You may find a crab roll in a pile of fallen berries. If you show me its Pokedex entry, I'll pay you for your trouble. Okay, so I just need to... Oracorio comes at some point instead of the sleeping tummy. Oracorio, very cool Pokemon. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'll absolutely trade a Spearow for a Hawlucha. Are you joking? Wow. You know, I might need to, uh, just hunt around for, for a little bit until I find a Spearow. I don't know where I will, though. I'm not sure, like, what area they... What is this guy selling? I mean, it, hopefully it's just right outside. I haven't really searched around that much to check that area. Nest ball, luxury balls are cool. And a bunch of X items, but I don't need those now that I got Rotom. His glowing eyes. So, you know what? Maybe I'll check right outside here uh, for a little bit off camera. I'll try and find a Crab Brawler and a Spearow in this, in this area over here. Found a, cra <laughs> Found a Crab Brawler just immediately. So, lucky me. Uh, now let's just hope I don't kill this thing too fast or, or ruin it or anything like that, but It's cool. It's a it's a fighting type Pokemon. I used Crab Brawler last time, uh, but I think I'll try a Hawlucha this time around uh, So let's catch this La. All right, we have Crab Brawler Crab Brawler's design is the best like a Seriously, just like a drunken boxer, like, come on. I'll, I'll take all of you. But, but I, um, last playthrough, I, I, one thing you'll notice uh, that I noticed about a lot of the Pokemon this generation is a lot of them are slow, decent in certain stat areas, like Crab Brawler and his evolution are super high attack, but just too slow. Its hard pincers are well suited to both offense and defense. A fight between two crab brawler are like boxing matches. I would hope so. Their claws are boxing gloves. Um, so, last time my, my team during that whole playthrough were really slow and it caused me to take a lot of attacks that felt unnecessary. Like if I just had faster Pokemon it wouldn't have been an issue. And so I think I'm going to look towards trying to avoid that a little bit this playthrough with the Pokemon I choose to use. Chesto. Set up a little resto chesto situation going on. Uh, also, I want to apologize for last uh, episode. I think my sound was a little off um, and the the Pokemon in-game sounds were a little too loud, so I lowered it by one stage, and hopefully we should be right on the money this time around. What? You've caught Crab Brawler? Then would you mind showing me your decks? They fight over their favorite berries and punch each other. That's not what that says. Actually, I want to get one of these Crab Brawlers for myself now. At least, let me at least pay you like I promised. What do you got for me? 3,000 Poke Yen. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to go look for a Spearow real quick. I'm going to do that off camera um, in this grassy area here. And by that, I mean I'm not stopping recording. So if anything interesting happens, I'll have it. But uh, I'm going to I'm gonna cut away until I see something interesting. I mean, 
So here's a new Pokemon. Uh, we've got uh, Alolan Rattata. I'll probably catch that too. I'll, I'll cut back in to show you what I catch uh, if anything interesting happens, but um, again, it's, let's give you guys a little bit of a break from me spamming battles. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh my god! Growlithe! Growlithe, my sweet child. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Smeargle's out here too? Damn, this zone's got... I can't believe I went through this whole zone and pretty much didn't see anything. This is crazy. Alright, we've got Smeargle, not that I'm going to use it, but it's, uh, you know, we're adding to the decks. This area is really cool, actually. A lot of, uh, I've encountered a Cutie Fly, a Rattata, an Alolan Rattata, a Growlithe, and a Smeargle now. The fluid of Smeargle's tail secretions changes in the intensity of its hue as the Pokemon emotion change. It's like a mood ring. There we go. There's the Spiro. We got him. Alright, Spiro has joined our party and will reside here just long enough to get... Uh, Instantly traded for a Halucha. I don't even want to read what the Pokedex has to say about you, Spiro. But I will. I will, but... Its reckless nature leads it to stand up on others, even large Pokemon, if it has to protect its territory. Maybe this is trying to make me not hate Spiro. No, I don't want to give you a nickname. It's trying to make me not hate Spiro for all the evil things it's done, like attacking Nebby and attacking Pikachu. Right, but who's who are we switching out for this guy? We can't get rid of Bugnitude. Pups is a beast. Little P's main dog. Magnemite, it's nice to have another special attacker on the squad. It's also Steel is amazing. At, at this time of the game. <sighs> Probably Jesse. Because the addition of chess means I'm three special attackers, three physical attackers. Yeah, I should start building teams not around the idea that just lowering stat. I should probably start the team building process to mean having good Pokemon that are used for useful reasons and not just because they have Intimidate. <laughs> so Spiro comes in. That was a nice little exploration. There were a lot of different types of Pokemon in there and I don't think I ever had a repeat on on battle. So trade it for Halucha. You know it. That is such a one-sided trade. I can't even believe it. It's ridiculous. Oh, you trade. You can trade from the box or the party this time around. Doesn't have to be in there. Thank you, thank you. I'll take good care of your spirit. So please take good care of my Halucha. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my supervisor. I didn't nickname the Spiro, so hopefully the Halucha doesn't come with a stupid nickname. Shaw. <laughs> I mean, I all my nicknames are dumb, but at least they're dumb because, uh, but they're mine. Like I came up with them. Now I need to live with a dumb nickname that I didn't come up with myself. Oh, get it? Because it says Cha at the end of it. Yes, I get it. What do we have to say here? It overwhelms opponents with quick moves, but sometimes it showboats for too long when it's using a special move and gets itself into a pinch. Yeah, just like wrestlers. 
Alright, so, very cool. Let's heal up. This would be great. Having a Halooch. El Halucha Libre. Alright. Back on to what we were planning on doing before. What do you have to say? Crits land for 50% more damage. I already knew that, you silly goose. There's a stick. I knew it. I knew there was a stick over here. Look at that endless sea. Okay. Item? Item? Hidden item? Nope. Nothing. So this is the direction we didn't go last time. There's a trainer in there, but I can't battle him from this angle. I gotta step up. There's an area on t to the left that I can hop down. But I didn't see an entrance of how to get there, but I did see an item. We must have to go south in order to get it. We got Breeder J in here now. Look at that rock ruff. Cutie! <laughs> Alright, Cha gave that guy the business end of a karate chop to the face. Landing two consecutive attacks after he had been uh, sand attacked, so that's great too. Ooh, we got a little got a dark spot over here. Come get me. Let's see what we got here. What kind of special something. Another Ekans, that's boring. That was interesting. So as I was running away from that, I saw the A button light up. And there was an item that I came back to. And then somehow, in a quarter of a step around a corner, I get into another battle. And it's another Ekans? So Ekans is available in this zone both by special encounter and non-special encounter. Okay. No more Ekans. Checking out this area over here, which has the item. And a tree in a corner. No item around it, though. So means we're done here. There's this grassy area. I think I'm kind of done with... Um, I'm not feeling any more battles in this zone. I feel like we've done enough. I don't want to over level or anything. And this was the area where we chose to go right instead of left. So we have now completed this area in its entirety, including the quests in that zone. And now Elima for the totem. Greetings. Captain Elima here. And my trial begins mere steps from here in the Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokemon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you prepared with some potions and so forth. Through attempting the trials during the island challenge, one can exceed his or her own limits. That is what the Alolan people believe. Once you enter Verdant Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you've completed the trial. Are you prepared for the trial? Yes. I'll be waiting for you. Hmm? My circuits are tingling. This is my first trial. Yeah, mine too. Maybe we should save. I saved the game. Alright. Alright, we're in this. Let me formally welcome you to Verdant Cavern. I am your captain, Ilima. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should attempt to do is... Capture the gumshoe? Defeat three of the Pokemon that lurk here in their dens. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave and collect the Z-Crystal there. You'll need to be completely in sync with your Pokemon to succeed. Grrr. Oh dear, and there's one more thing I forgot to mention. 
Many strong Pokemon, strong Pokemon make their home in this cave, but one stronger and more fierce than all the rest, known as the Totem Pokemon, also resides in here. It will be the greatest obstacle you face as you attempt to clear my trial. By the way, until you clear the trial, you will not be able to catch Pokemon in Verdant Cavern. But this is but one of the eight trials you will face during your island challenge. And it begins now, the trial of Captain Elima. And there's a, we got a really cool thing over here. It looks like a, a TM. But what do you actually do in the trial, huh? I guess we're both about to find out. Zzzt. No me. No me. Goose. Young goose. Pup's got this, no problem. Piece of cake. Get very O code. Alright, Chagru to 10. Making moves. Still two Pokemon left. Got an item here. Super Potion. Nice, nice. Love it. Uh, no. Don't need to. So I think the only way we battle are things over here, right? Oh no, we had that. Ah! The dust thing. Is this. Young Goose? Uh, so the dusts. If this is the same thing that it was in Sun and Moon, the dust. Um, the dust was. Diglett? Alolan Diglett? I think? One left to defeat. Wait. Did I already look in there? No. Yeah. Yeah. Was... So, I, I don't mean... I Did I already look in there? Because I didn't realize that that was where I fought the young goose. I thought maybe... Because I did see a dust cloud underneath my feet. I thought the, the dust cloud might have been the young goose. Brick break. That's a really strong TM to already have access to. Seriously? Seventy-five power, crazy. All right, Karate Chop out, and now Cha instantly becomes Beast of the East. Let's make some moves here. Let's move Cha to first. Let's also take his held item. All right, squad's looking good. Looking real clean, real nice. Okay. So he went in this one. I gotta crawl under here to get there. Grab a super potion in the process. Conspicuous rock, but no items on it. I'll look inside. Popped out on top. Follow him. Look at this guy. The trainer. I'm a trial guide here to help young boys and girls attempting their island challenge. Looks like there's one more Pokemon you have to... I already know that helper guy. Okay, so... Looks like he just moves in a circle from area to area. So if I go... I shouldn't check the one... Oh... No? Maybe it was intentional that they did this way? Yo, yo, yo! It's your bad beach, boys. Back. Back again. Remember us? Uh, sure, I do. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa. 
even though we look identical, that's pretty impressive, actually. Who cares about that anyway? We're here to mess up his trial, yo. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yo, let me get that Pokemon, homie. Mm, 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 mm. Get it. What up? All right, Grunt B. What you got? This seems like a weird, like, you can't be, you can't be bothering me in my trial like this, man. Especially because I just switched Cha into the lead because I wanted him to be able to take on with type advantage. But now I got to switch out because Drowsy's psychic. And Cha can't be playing this. Chess is still too weak. He needs to get a better move. Bugnitude. Yeah. Bugnitude's got a decent attack stat, and he's got Bug Bite Stab now, so he should be able to one-hit KO Drowsy. I'll take a pound, because Bugnitude also has decent defense. So let's get it. Easy. Easiest Bug Bite of my life. Never had an easier Bug Bite. Ever. In the history of biting bugs. Is it cool for me to be in Team Skull if I'm this brittle? Ah! <laughs> Low P's evolving. I didn't realize I was, that I was already at that stage. We're in the adolescent evolutions. But now I'm... Now Lil P doesn't make sense again. Now that he's a Brion. A Brion? Because like Brian. Plus the adolescent ones always look weird. Like they're not ready yet. It gets excited when it sees a dance it doesn't know. This hard worker practices diligently until it can learn that dance. Sweet. Respect, bro. Dedication. What's up with that? Yo, for real though, I can't get my skull around it. This kid's mad strong, yo. Nah, it ain't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I don't know, man. Isn't this whole place trouble? Yeah, it totally is, homie. I mean, that thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out and battle. Oh, they're talking about the, uh, the totem Pokemon. What? Yo, kid. You know that, you know there's a mad strong Pokemon lurking back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. Nah, we're not going out like that. We gotta get our revenge. Go stand over that den and catch that skulking young goose, yo. For real? Fine. I ain't got no bone to pick with you. <laughs> Team Skull's kind of cool, actually. So. Well, that was the one where I wanted to look for the Pokemon. So I guess I'll just look at it here where it actually was. Part of my theory was that it was always rotating by one space. And so it wouldn't be here. But, yeah. Since he was covering the other one, that kind of nixed that idea and this is the last place I saw it oh damn it's a gumshoe instead of a young goose so this is an evolved form and probably a higher level than Cha same level Cha should still be able to take it on because it's got brick break I could also hone claws hone claws might make it a no I'm just gonna do it no point in being weird yeah because I, I my it was a stupid idea. I don't even know why I ever even considered it. But I could have Hone Claws to Oko it. But if I would have oko it after a Hone Claws, then I would have two-hit KO'd it anyway. So it's the exact same thing. And now I get Roost? Cha, you are so beast. No need Tackle. I don't need it. Okay. Okay, very cool. All of this is very cool. Lots of EXP here. Alright. 
all the Pokemon have been defeated. Now I can schlump on up here. I was about to go inside. He literally stopped me. He's like, stop. You've beaten all three Pokemon. Help yourself. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I was trying, bruh. Verdant Cavern. Totem's Den. Got going on here. Rocks for Tauros to break. And the Z-Crystal here. Alright. Let's get it going. Yes, I will take this. Is it going to be the same totem Pokemon as last game too? I'm, I'm, you know. Not the same. Gumshoe, the totem Pokemon of Verdant Cavern has arrived. Because wasn't it, last game wasn't, uh, it wasn't totem Gumshoes, it was totem Raticate, I think. All right, Donald Trump, let's go. Chuck can probably take this guy on. And again, probably best for me to just spam Brick Break as opposed to Home Clawsing up. Because I, I dinged after that last fight and the Gumshoes dinged after the last fight. Scary face? Called an ally. It's definitely in my interest to take out the gumshoes before I go for the goose. Because I will to hit KO it. Still outspeeding. Interessante. Muy interessante. Damn, Cha. Okay, I gotta be careful with Cha actually. With EXP share on, having Cha as a lead, he's gonna get way too much, way too much experience. Look at this thing. This beast already 36 attack, 34 speed. I love Hawlucha. And one Leer. Crazy. So this will probably take out the Young Goose, and that will make this a very easy totem battle. Although, it was a very easy totem battle last time, too. This game likes to ease you in. They, they figure the game's still new to you at this point. The Pokemon you've caught might not really have any combined efficacy at this point, so... Disappeared back into the cave somewhere. What an incredible trainer you are. For you to be able to defeat the totem Pokemon that I had trained up to such a powerful state. I don't know what I can say. Working in harmony with your Pokemon, you have cleared the trial of Ilima. You are a phenomenal trainer. Congratulations, Geo. The Z-Crystal from the pedestal is yours now. Excellent. Let's break next breakneck blitz some things. I think I'm going to give it to um, uh, Pups. Pups could make some real good use of breakneck blitzing. Man, Pups is a beast. My team is strong right now. It is known as Normalium Z. Now if you let your Pokemon that can use a normal type move hold that, shwa! Whoa! So sad! Strike an elegant pose like this one. Then you will be able to strengthen a normal type move by unleashing Z power. Moving right along. Ah, yes. First, there is one thing I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon. In every locale where a captain holds his or her trials, you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon, like Gumshoes just now. And during battles against such Pokemon, they may summon allies to shore up their offense. It's not a tactic often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help one another. Since you have managed to defeat the totem Pokemon and proved yourself, you can now try to catch any of the Pokemon you find here in this cave. In fact, have some great balls. 
And here, let me see your Pokemon after all their hard work in here. Actually, I think I didn't take any damage. <laughs> if we're done here, I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me to Route 3. Elima, I sure will do that in the very next episode so thank you guys so much for watching uh i'm going to this is going to be the only the second i'm only going to upload two episodes tonight uh, i do have work tomorrow uh so i gotta be up early for that so i'm gonna be this is gonna be my goal for you guys is maybe two episodes a day uh for for this week and maybe i'll try and uh i do have thanksgiving coming up so maybe no promises about Thanksgiving, but I'll do my best to get you guys uh, a couple episodes, maybe three if they're shorter episodes, uh, for the for the duration of the week. Uh, try and get through this game a little bit, but I, I don't have time off this time around, so I gotta I gotta work. That means I still gotta eat, feed myself, and and get enough sleep. So that's what I'm gonna be aiming to do. As always, my name is Jim Little Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.